Welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. And like Anita Dobson, we reluctantly slide onto May. <laughs> <laughs> the boss of IKEA was revealed to be the richest man in the world. He's so rich he earns £6 million in interest in the time it takes you and me to get out of his fucking car park. <laughs> and controversy raged about pictures of a British soldier urinating on prisoners in Iraq. Let's be honest, it looked bad. But we all know urine can be used to sterilise a wound. It is often taken the wrong way. It's why I no longer work for the St John's Ambulance. <laughs> it was the last ever Friends, and after 238 episodes, the stars really felt like our friends, in that we don't see them as much as we used to, they never call, and they don't really make us laugh anymore. <laughs> Let's ask some more questions, shall we? Right, May, number one. Which newspaper editor was sacked this month for publishing fake photographs of prisoner abuse in Iraq? Oh, we know that one. Well, write it down. Okie dokie. Question number two. Tony Blair was hit by a condom full of purple flour thrown by a member of which pressure group? Jesus. Oh, you're a member, aren't you? Justice. Who? Justice. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, can I think you so. cross the T properly, please? <laughs> OK, you're going to be very excited now. It's another one of our picture stories. What headline is being depicted here? Oh, OK. If you think about the full name, that gives you a bit of a clue. The full name of the first person. Full name, yep. Days Ducks and the singing people to get a beer from Wiki. <laughs> Are we close? The round of drinks. It's not a duck. It OK. It's not. Oh, bugger. Come on, we've got to kick on. Question number four. And now we return to our friends at Mitchell Brook Primary School. What news event are they recreating for us this time? Sizzle, sizzle, burn, burn. Sizzle, sizzle, burn, burn. Sizzle, sizzle, burn, The fire's out! The fire's out! The fire's out! But everything is gone. And everybody's going to be so cross. My lovely circles. All my nice things. Ha, 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 the rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's great, isn't it? What story were they, uh, were they acting out for you there? That is actually the ITN news coverage that was used. <laughs> Final okay. question for May. In May, Gordon Ramsay opened Hell's Kitchen to a group of reserved, unassuming celebrity students. Oh, okay. Not my scene, quite honestly. Does this make you feel better shouting in front of the blue team? I'm not shouting in front of anybody. Is that you have to show off? I'm... How bloody fucking Don't dare you! Don't be stupid. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. I'm not showing Don't be off. So stupid. I am tired. Calm down. No! Don't raise your hands. Why not? Do, don't do you raise mean? your what hands. What do you mean, don't I'm, raise my bloody hands? I just hands. told you, don't no, no, raise your hands. No, no, no. What? Don't, don't. Calm down. No! Take you outside. Oh, Is that what you like? Do you, do you just really want to Just calm down. Do just calm get down. Pushed? I'm much better just, staying right just, here. No! <laughs> What we want to know is, who was the first celebrity to leave Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> you know what I think the best thing about it is? It's Matt or Luke Goss, whichever one it is, going, yeah, let's take this outside. <laughs> That's a brilliant way to break up a fight. <laughs> <laughs> let's go outside, make a little circle and all chant, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> OK, the May Morgan answers. Telly, OK, who, who got sacked? Morgan. Here is Morgan. Did you all get that? You all got yeah, that? Yeah, we all got that. That was an easy one. Easy OK, what was the pressure group that yeah. uh, threw a... Condom full of uh, purple flour. Father Sir Justice? You're absolutely right. If only it had landed on uh, David Blunkett's cock. Wouldn't it have been great? It would have saved us so much bother later in the year. <laughs> <laughs> Did you work out the headline? Simon Pegg, we Mr. Got, Tarbuck. Did you work it out? Goose Steps in the middle. Look, there's Goose Steps beer, Rick. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? We've got one down here, but now, having seen yours, mm. I've worked it out. Oh, but it's not the one we've written down. The one we wrote down, we wrote down as a test, so they wouldn't... No, it's got to be written down. <laughs> right, the um, one we wrote down is Des Steps in Beer at Office, but we, I think I know the answer based what on this. What do you think it is? What is it? Des Goose Steps round the office, because it was the bloke oh. from The oh, Express. Right. He said... <laughs> you said the surname! <laughs> I said I the full the name. I didn't say the surname, I said the full name. You did say the full name, Desmond. David. David. Because the answer is Desmond no Goose Steps round the office. David. No one's ever called Des Lynham Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> Mum did when she was very angry with him. <laughs> Desmond, come up here and clean Again, your room. The wrong clue, and none of us got it. <laughs> You're not in this competition. You could be nice to us. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's getting very tetchy. Rob, can you not massage his shoulders or something? There's nothing I can do. Uh, <laughs> That's I've not true. Before. You can do an impersonation of Tom Jones. Well, please, no. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> OK, uh, Mitchell Brook Primary School, we're uh, reconstructing something from the news. What was it? The Saatchi Warehouse fire in which many pieces of Brit pop art perished and are gone forever. Amongst them, some of Tracy Emin's, for example, her tent. Gone forever. <laughs> that uh, is a good answer. But Brit pop art. Yeah, I know, it's not Brit pop art. It's, yeah, it's, it's like Brit a 70 year old talking about it. I read in the mail about the Brit pop art, <laughs> including some undergarments sewn up into a tent. Well, if that's bloody art, then count me out. That's like saying I'm going to a laptop dancing club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the actual art, the Momart fire. Yeah, but well. the Saatchi Gallery, that'll do. Yeah, yeah. We'll Fire in Saatchi's art warehouse. OK, yeah, lovely. Shocker. There you go, you all get a point. We well all done. got it. <laughs> OK, the first person to leave Hell's Kitchen was, of course... Tommy, Tommy Vance. Vance. Roger Thomas Cook. Vance. Roger, Roger Cook. Cook is the correct answer. Oh. Yay! He left That's on the right. first day. We've got a little bit of footage for you, just to remind you. Jesus, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like investigating that. whoever sold that chair to the world, eh? <laughs> How did that happen? Look, like 20 stones sitting on a tiny barbecue chair. Who'd, who, who'd have guessed that could happen? He belched and broke his ankle. <laughs> 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 Idiots. <laughs> let's, let's crack on. Um, so we come on to June. Not literally, Miss Sarpong, although check your contract, we could if we wanted. <laughs> John Reed claimed that smoking shouldn't be banned because, and I quote, it's the only enjoyment the poor have got. That's a bit patronising. And he's wrong. What about joyriding in incest? <laughs> Eight weeks into Big Brother and Michelle and Stu finally had sex, a first for British television. It also set a new world record, as eight weeks is the longest a Geordie girl's ever gone without a shag. <laughs> Ronald Reagan died after his ten-year battle with Alzheimer's. Ironically, the Americans had a day of remembrance. <laughs> <laughs> June also saw the start of Rooney Mania. Sadly, during Euro 2004, Wayne broke his foot. He didn't mind too much, though, because most of the brothels he visits have Stannis Stairlifts. <laughs> <laughs> it is question time once again. Question number one for June. <clears throat> Bill Clinton released his autobiography, before you ask, pages 448 and 450. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? Is it I'm the President, Suck Me Off? It's not a bad title for a suck book. Suck me off or I'll press this button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, uh, wasn't suck me off the Russian president. Let me ask suck me good. off. How pleased to meet you. Oh, no. Shibata. Right no, there. she just fell over. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you like it now, eh? OK, for our next question, it's over to Darren Brown in New York City. My show this year attracted 700 complaints, thus making it the most complained about show in British TV history. Uh, last year, the prospect of me blowing my head off on live TV attracted only 20. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. So, uh, the question is, what was the title of this year's show? And we have travelled 3,500 miles to film me asking you this question, so please try and get it right. <laughs> OK, so what was the name of the show he made in June this year? I should warn you, there's a hidden message in the video he made, and if anyone says Brussels sprouts, you'll dance like Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> See yourself. Take a look at this picture of uh, David Bowie. Tell me what's missing. Why did motor racing legend Sterling Moss write a letter of complaint to the Daily Telegraph? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think he might have done it? I don't know. I wish I did. Uh, we've, got, we've got a very good guess, we think. He's a racing driver, wasn't he? He was furious enough to write to the Blooming Telegraph. Yeah, he was furious. OK, which thrifty shopper bought these bargains on eBay? A pair of retro bright red shoes, a Winnie the Pooh alarm clock and a video of Dumbo. Is it somebody quite rich? It is someone it's I think that would be considered wealthy. Is it somebody in the royal with royal connections? Oh, I'll on, just, I'll hold just on. flip down. It's not guess who. No. <laughs> no. Just, just play with me for a minute. Yeah. yeah. They've got a beard and glasses, and they work in the baker shop. I'll no, play the game. Put the queen. Put the queen. Just get the answer down. Okay. <laughs> Last question for June. 
The nation was gripped with Big Brother fever. Yeah. What is Nadia upset about in this clip? Look at me. <laughs> you think this is funny? This is not funny. <laughs> I'm not 16 years old. I know what my choices are. I know what I want. I wanted to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. But this is not funny. Honestly, this is not funny. It's not funny at all. Yeah, we know, we think we know. Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, have you got an answer? Yeah, we're yeah. done. We've got no, it. We'll David Williams, Rob Ryan. Give us one second, please. Because You're always just... asking for extra time. Always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always. We're I taking this, this seriously. OK? Yeah, you're taking... You're There's cheating, basically. OK, end. we're ready. We're finished. OK, yeah. fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to give us the answers for June's questions, the undisputed <laughs> queen of Big Brother, the gorgeous, the glamorous, Nadia. Yes! <laughs> Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. Can't believe the luck. Look at that, Nadia. Oh, hello. <laughs> like, I can't believe Nadia. I know. I'm glad I entertain you there for a little bit. Oh, it's very funny. It is, isn't it? Looking back, I have to say. Well, God bless you. <laughs> and what have you been up to since you got out? Oh, all sorts. Exciting things, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, tell us. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? I'm just starting rehearsals for my pantomime, my first ever pantomime. What are you, what, who are you in the, in the panto? I'm a mermaid. You're a mermaid? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I haven't seen this one. <laughs> no, it's a Peter Pan one. <laughs> it's a Peter Pan play and I'm a mermaid. Have they got subtitles for the kiddies? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what's going on. Well, if they don't, you have to come and see it, and then I'm sure they get the picture. Where's it on? It's Southampton. Oh, it's a pleasure having you here. Oh, it's my pleasure for you, you know. Thank you for having me. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> even if you want to do sweets, even if you wanted to. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> I think I may have pulled. Let's get the answers for June. <laughs> right. Bill Clinton's autobiography was called My Life. Oh, we were, we had my story, my first book, surely that's close enough. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> I had nothing. Just <laughs> hold this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, next um, one. Darren Brown's programme was called Seance. Yeah. No. Yeah. Seance. 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 Yeah. Seance. Yeah. We yeah. thought it was Darren Brown the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Seance. 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 Yeah, you've got both. Seance. Yeah, yes, well done. Them have, yeah. Good spelling. Okay, third one. It was a lollipop that was removed from David Bowie's face. Yes. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> How can that possibly happen? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever got anything weird in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> no, a lollipop. No, Not a lollipop. I haven't considered that yet. No. Mm. Okay. Number four. Stanley Morse was upset because they said he died in 1963 crash. I've British racing is in the poo. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. <laughs> we... That's later on in the year. I've I've preempted. With my poo comments. We, we put down, he was unhappy about something. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel that could be a point or half a point. Nadia. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia would you give him a point? Would you, would exactly. you give me a point, no, Nadia? You would. Yeah, yeah. No, you would. No, <laughs> Don't you. just tell I, him no. No, I'll say yes because I like him. <laughs> well, in the sense, I'll, yeah, well, I like him. Do you him. like him? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, he's a pretty good bet, I would say. <laughs> OK, number five. Charlie Blair bought the items on oh. eBay. Yes, we got that. Oh, oh. oh, they've done a picture. Oh. Yeah, that's quite a good picture, haven't they? Jeremy, what did you put, Simon? Jeremy Paxman. <laughs> Incorrect. Right, and number six, the answer is, of course... My cigarette! I need some bloody cigarette! I've got to sit down and have a nice little smoke this evening. And look at no bloody cigarette! I do that all the time, I get no bloody cigarette! <laughs> I'm in class. I'm in class. Yeah, I'm in class. I'm in the pantomime and uh, I'm in the Peter Pan and the Pearl Mermaid. <laughs> Jonathan, should we see how good that impression really was? Let's see the real thing. Right, OK. Uh. Nadia, oh. is it just the lack of cigarettes? Yes, it you? is just the lack of cigarettes. I don't, I don't ask me any more questions. Just get me out of here, please. <laughs> I'm going to go insane. <laughs> Oh, I look quite serious there. It's quite scary. But it's good, you know. 
It was good. fun. It was all good fun, it I have to brilliant. say. Nadia, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, really yes. you were the only I person. I had an amazing time want. there, you know. I right. love the fact that you were, and I don't wish to be indiscreet here, but uh, we saw you showering and coaching. Oh, uh, right. And okay. I love the fact I'm that sorry, you I apologise. No, it was pleasant, but I love the fact that you were wearing your kitten heels even in the shower. You know. Because the only other person I've met who'd done that is David Williams. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Nadia, at the end of June, let's have a look at the scores. What okay. have they got? Simon Pegg, Lisa Talbot, what have you got? 22 out of 36. Oh, well good. done. David Williams, Rob Brydon, 22 out of 36. June Sarpong, Jonathan Ross still in the lead, 24 out of 36.